experts of the hour, sources say that 11 Omicron sub-variants were found during testing of international travellers between December 24th and January 3rd. And all these variants have been earlier reported in India. So that's the big breaking news that's coming in. But to tell us more about this and the on-ground situation as well, I have my colleague uh, Ila joining me live on the broadcast. Ila, very good afternoon. This, of course, we're seeing in terms of the fact that for the past couple of weeks, uh, there was a surge in COVID-19 cases in China, which raised that global alarm. But talk to us about the fact that uh, these 11 Omicron uh, subvariants were found. And what are the officials also saying about this? Any cause of concern now? Well, a very good afternoon to you too as well. Uh, talking about the Omicron subvariants, 11 uh, passengers who were traveling from international uh, airways are found to be positive now according to the sources in ministry. And there, but there is no cause of concern because for, uh, these 11 have the subvariant which is already present in India. That means there is no new uh, subvariant in these 11 passengers who were tested between uh, 27th of December and 3rd Janu January till now. At airport only 19,224 four passengers have been tested for COVID and out of them uh, 124 were found pos positive uh, but 40 only had uh, 40 people had the old variants of uh, Omicron and only one case of BF.7 which is right now in China and uh, it is spreading in China and we are seeing that uh, how piles of bodies are gathering in the mortuary and uh, patients being hospitalized but in talking about India, most of the variants of Omicron are already circulating in India. And that's why even the ministry earlier has said and even the health minister Mansuk Mandavia had said that there is no need to create panic. But at the same time, one needs to guard their, themselves and needs to follow the uh, COVID protocol. Over to you. Right, I appreciate you joining us on the broadcast and getting us those important details. As you did point out, right now, there's no need to panic. But of course, vigilance is of utmost importance. We'll leave it to that for now and shift our focus to more news.